And a great look down on high here at Route 66 Raceway. At Tim Wilkerson and Melanie Troxel. And for Melanie Troxel and that ProCare RX team, it's all about fives. After five DNQs to start the season, they've now qualified for five straight races. And of course, Melanie does double duty in the Get Screen America Pro Mod Series, but they're on a five race hiatus. So she says it's nice for her to get an opportunity to slow down and really focus the crew chief, Aaron Brooks, on the tune-up of this race car. Tim Wilkerson, of course, now considers, since we don't race at St. Louis, at least not this year, this to be his home track because they're based not that far from here in Springfield, Illinois. Both cars trying to break in. Boy, Melanie really gave it a wiggle at the end. Melanie runs a 4.15. It's a 4.18 for Tim Wilkerson. They are both in now, and Troxel is... Troxel is number two, and Tim Wilkerson is number three. Well, you saw Aaron Brooks, crew chief for Melanie Troxel, kind of give a shrug at the end saying, that ah, wasn't too bad. We take a look at the Ultramole launch here of Melanie Troxel in that ProCare RX Toyota that launches the front end up in the air a little bit, just carries it. It's what we call when the front end is just a little bit light, but still very drivable as that car accelerates down the middle. As you said, Paul, at the other end, it did make a pretty good move at, uh, just before the finish line, possibly when it uh, put a cylinder out. Watch the left side of your screen. She's right in the middle of the groove, and then, boy, I think just started sashaying a little bit, and she just got a little sideways, but didn't cross the line, so no harm, no foul. But Tim Wilkerson had a little bit of damage at the finish line, and boy, when they were pulling that car off, let some uh, nitro in the pipes, and a little bit of a flame up there. 